Welcome to Unfamiliar Readings, where I, Dr Octavia Cox, read aloud underloved texts. Reading of a poem by Thomas Chatterton. The famous romantic poet John Keats would later write that he longed to sit and rhyme and think on Chatterton. Thomas Chatterton, Inquiry After Happiness, written on a blank leaf in a copy of Richard Lucas's Inquiry After Happiness, published in 1770. Though happiness be each man's darling aim, yet folly too, too often plays the game. To that one centre all our wishes tend. We fly the means, but still pursue the end. No wonder then we find our hopes were vain, the wretch who shuns his cure must still complain. In labyrinths of crooked error lost, Or on life's sea with raging tempest tossed. We by no compass steer, but blindly stray, And knowing we are wrong, never ask the way. How hard, how very hard to walk, they cry, In thorny roads when flowery meads are nigh. But no, deluded mortals, virtue's race, is run in paths of pleasantness and peace. Though narrow, yet sufficient for the few who have this pearl of price alone in view. But how, they ask, can we this gem obtain? Be that thy task, O Lucas, to explain. As Milton, eyeless bard, has sweetly sung, the fatal source whence all our woes first sprung. So he has taught, though not in measured phrase, a lesson which deserves full greater praise. How man, as one in Eden, may be blessed, and paradise be found in every breast. Oh, may you find it there, may you obtain the bliss which too much knowledge rendered vain by tasting boldly the fair fruit again. Lucas, like Milton, wondrous bard was blind. Like Milton, too, illumined was his mind. Then ask thy guide, for he who seeks shall find.